What's up guys, JV2017 here, and today we're looking at how we can all prepare for the Wasteland Workshop DLC coming in just a few hours here in the US. In fact, some of you may already be playing in Australia and New Zealand, places way away from here, but the goal here is to hit the ground running and make sure that all of our characters are fully equipped to handle the new content. So in this video, we'll look at a few perks that you'll need for new items, and also several ways to find materials so you can start building as soon as the DLC unlocks. Let's start with the basics. First, there's no level requirement or radio signal to follow in order to unlock new content like with Automatron a few weeks ago. All you really need is a settlement to work with, and of course, Sanctuary is available within the first hour of the game, so that should be no problem. You just need to download this DLC and essentially find a workshop bench and your new items will be available to build. There are a few perks you're going to want to keep in mind if you are creating a new character for this DLC or just did for Automatron or you're just using a higher level character that you've played throughout since the beginning of the game. First is Animal Friend at Charisma 5 and this allows you to pacify certain you know animals out in the world and make them do your bidding with the last rank. Wasteland Whisperer is also another perk you want to keep in mind at Charisma 9. This does something very similar except it applies to more of the creature type enemies out in the world like Deathclaws, Rad Scorpions, those kind of things. These are the only two can confirm perks that we can at least tell from the trailer because the trailer showed off the new item the beta wave emitter and this is something that you're going to be able to attach to your cages and depending if you flip it on or off your creatures will come out passive or you know not passive and very violent and wanting to kill you so it's going to be a cool mechanic that we're going to be able to mess around having some death claws maybe just walk around our settlements and prepare them for battle or just to fight Preston to the death of course they would kill Preston and that's something I'm sure a lot of us are going to do so these are the only two perks that we know for sure are confirmed by the trailer of course some people have their hands on the beta so they could be able to tell you otherwise if I had to guess maybe science is incorporated with some of these traps some of the traps seem fairly complex and so maybe we'll need science for that but it's interesting if you look at automatron and now wasteland workshop these DLCs kind of go down a certain path in terms of special tree requirements for the perks first with automatron we had you know science and robotics expert were really something that you needed to fully explore you know the DLC and all the options so that's obviously the intelligence tree with wasteland workshop we've got more of the charisma tree with wasteland whisper all the way at charisma 9 that's quite the investment but it will allow you to build the beta wave emitter in order to build with all of these new items of course we will need materials and so obviously you can just scavenge for common materials there are certain places that are kind of well known within the community like there's one place where there's a ton of aluminum trays you could go that route but you will need a lot of concrete and steel if you're going to try out a lot of the new you know concrete structures which is something I definitely plan on doing you also have the option of the iBot pod if you have the automatron DLC you can send that out to get certain materials if you're looking for that or you could buy shipments from vendors and that's something we're going to go on through this video I'm going to show you a lot of handy places you can go to find a lot of shipments of materials before we move on I just want to point out that obviously if you're on PC and like to use console commands to spawn in items this is not for you clearly you're just going to be able to take the shortcut easy route and get all of those items but this is more for console players or PC players who just don't want to use console commands don't want to cheat don't want to take the easy way first we're looking at a couple of farms with nice shipment items the good thing is if you're on survival Abernathy farm is very close to sanctuary so you can just walk over here and talk to Connie Abernathy so she sells concrete cloth fertilizer leather and wood at the Abernathy farm nice resource there next is Finch farm which is way far east on the map so if you're closer to the coast in one of those settlements or you're building at Fitch farm itself it makes sense to buy from Daniel right here and the thing about Daniel is he sells the exact same stock as Connie at Abernathy so you got your cloth concrete fertilizer leather except for wood no wood there if you'd rather go to the largest settlement in the Commonwealth go to Diamond City there are plenty of people selling shipments here first is Dr. Soon he's selling antiseptic glass and rubber very handy for more specialized materials in the same market area go past the hut to Arturo he sells some very handy materials as well except his prices are really jacked up so I would kind of look at each of these and kind of decide you know which ones you want to go to if you have plenty of caps obviously it doesn't matter but he sells aluminum copper gears and screws to the left of Arturo is Mo Cronin, and he sells some very specialized items. He only sells cork and wood. So wood is something you should be able to find all around your settlement, but if you need some more, he's definitely here to sell it to you. To the right of Arturo is Myrna, and she's willing to sell you a ton of different types of materials. She's selling adhesives, ceramic, concrete, fertilizer, plastic, springs, 
and steel. And also at night, when you come here, you'll see her, you know, Mr. Handy instead, Percy. He'll be selling the same exact stuff, so you don't have to worry about waiting for night or day. But this is your vendor if you want a ton of concrete, she is here. The last location for shipments in this video is Good Neighbor, the other large settlement. And you've got Cleo here, our friendly neighborhood Assaultron, willing to sell us some stuff. So she's got a few more specialized options for shipments, ballistic fiber, copper, lead, and oil. So if you need any of those, come to Cleo. Right next door to Cleo is Daisy, and she sells plenty of items too. She actually sells concrete, so this is another you know place you can get concrete if you don't want to go to any of the places in Diamond City. So Daisy will sell you adhesive, concrete, circuitry, crystal, and silver shipments. There are a few more places that sell shipments like this, but these are the main areas. Like Bunker Hill is another place. Vault 81 also sells nuclear material, but I don't think you'll need that for a lot of things. Maybe one of the traps or two in the game. But anyways, if you want to buy all these in bulk and don't want to have to wait for the vendor refresh, I think it's either 24 or 48 hours of waiting or sleeping in order to refresh their stock. So if you have plenty of caps, clearly it's very easy to get a ton of these materials and start building. So I'd like to hear from you guys. Now that you're prepared for Wasteland Workshop, what are you going to do first when the DLC comes out? Are you going to pimp out your settlement with all these new building options? Are you going to lay some traps and try to get a death claw or some crazy other creature to come into your settlement? Or are you going to build an arena and start, you know, making people fight Preston? I know that's one of the first things I'm going to be doing. Let me know what you're going to do in the comment section below. All right, guys, today we looked at how to prepare our characters for the Wasteland Workshop DLC in Fallout 4. And next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel. So stay tuned for Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more survival mode coverage, Wasteland Workshop DLC all this week. That content's coming this week and also general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.